Okay, hey guys. Um, well, today we're going to be doing a little tutorial on Pinnacle Ultimate 11 green screen and chroma key. Well, there are a couple things you're going to need to do this. Um, of course, you're going to need the green screen, and you're going to need Pinnacle Studio Ultimate 11. Um, I think it has to be Ultimate. I'm not sure if Plus or Regular allows the chroma key um, and green screen effects. But yes, um, today we're doing it with Ultimate, so um, we're going to come on over here and get set up. Okay, first while Pinnacle is loading up, I'm going to talk to you a little bit. Okay, well, um, basically there's a lot of Pinnacle 11 um, tutorials out there about green screen and chrome key. But um, this is more of the easy. Uh, this is the easiest way because there's a lot of them that are simple, but they're unclear and they leave you, you know, kind of like, you know, not knowing. And then there's a lot of ones that are clear, but very difficult and uh, necessary. So um, I'm glad you stopped by to watch mine because this is going to be a quick and easy process. It shouldn't take more than 10, 15 minutes, including your footage time. So. Um, yeah, this is a real quick way, so, um, well, now Pinnacle's up and running, so I'll turn you back over to the Pinnacle, okay. Okay. As you can see, we have Pinnacle open here, um, so we're going to start off with, um, some green screen things. Okay. We'll just click this one. This one, um, you know, this is some footage I did a long time ago. It was for the lollipop video that you'll see. Hopefully, um, I'll have it uploaded in a bit. But um, first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag our footage down to this um, this little thing right here. You probably can't see it from that camera view, but it's gonna be um, the third little box and it's um, a square with a square inside of it so we're going to drag the um, footage down to there okay and um, you know it divides it up into little scenes like this so you drag it all down but um yeah it's a pretty long video so we're not going to drag all the scenes in we're just going to drag a couple um, and um after that you know you're going to watch the footage, you know, watch the footage. Just to make sure there's no, um, you know, major cuts that you need to do. And, um, you know, if you do need to do any major cuts, take it out because it's easier to cut when you have a, you know, before you get the green screen stuff in there and the chroma key all done and ready, then to wait until after you um, added the effects all in because after you add it in it's going to be hard because you're actually going to be cutting down on your um, your actual um, footage too so uh, yeah it'll be a lot easier so um, yeah we're watching the footage right now and you know you don't see any major you know outtakes or whatever so plus this footage has already been cut real so um Let's say you already cut it and everything, and now we're going to add the footage in. In this case, we're going to be using footage from Stump the Yard, and it's detecting scenes right now. And this is going to be a pretty long um, movie. Two, well, not really, because it's just a clip of the movie, but it's probably going to give us a lot of scenes. It tends to um, cut things with a lot of effects and stuff into little scenes so once the scenes get loaded um you'll see but yeah this is going to be a real easy method of how to do it okay so as you can see it gave us two pages of scenes like I said but see what you got to do you don't put all those things in just like we didn't put all those things in them from the um, footage the green screen shot then um you know we don't put all of that in so um, we're gonna start dragging clips down and make sure making sure it matches. Okay. Chop it up into scenes and everything. 
dragging it down. Yeah, and see the problem about um, it's not really a problem, but the thing about the um, you know, adding files like this, such as movies and um, you know, other video clips like this with sound and all that stuff, it chops it up into really small pieces. So you know, they go really bit by bit like this. And so um, the object is to get it around the same length um, as close as possible because it'll make it more believable, I guess you could say. Well, not necessarily believable, but it'll make it better and, um, you know, you won't have to cut your video short because if it's not all the, if it's not the same length, like let's say I was just to leave it here, or um, you know, let's just say if I was to leave it in here, it'll just leave the whole, um, the rest of this footage playing as a green screen. To whereas if I equal it out a little bit, you know, and see this worked literally perfect. So um, you know, but sometimes you're gonna have to cut some of the footage out or whatever. And so we play the video. We play the video, and you hear the sound from the stomp yard, but you don't see it on the green screen. Now this is don't panic because um, we haven't did the you know chroma key effect yet. So chroma keying is real easy. You pick a scene such as this one and double click until you see this little workspace come up here. You know the little worksheet um, workspace where it's two the two scenes together. And after that, you um, hit this little box with the um, square with the smaller square inside, and you'll get this picture in picture. Now you don't want to mess with this, but um, but you want to click on chroma key. Now when you see chroma key, you see a black screen and a color and all of this, all of these um, knobs like tolerance, minimum, minimum saturation, etc., etc. But all this you don't really need to mess with. Right here under presets, it says green screen key. You go here, and even though it already says green screen key, click on green screen key again, and then you should see a little white shadow, a little white shadow um, outline of yourself. And we're basically what that's doing, that's cutting you out of the green screen and placing you onto the thing. And so enable chroma key. And then what you're going to do to make your life a lot easier, go to apply new clips. Apply to new clips. So once you um, go to new clips, once you go to new clips and clip on this, it's already um, ready. And so um, enable chroma key. And you see how it automatically does that. It makes it a lot easier. Enable chroma key. Enable chroma key. Enable chroma key. And finally, the last thing, enable chroma key. Now, um, usually you'll see the green line or whatever. The green line, um, this will turn all of this to turn green. And that basically just means that um, that basically just means that everything's finalizing or whatever. So if you play it a couple times and it doesn't um, quite do it, uh, you know, don't be afraid because um, it hasn't all the way it hasn't all the way um, finalized yet. So um, as you can see here, the video's playing, and I'll check the camera and show it a bit. As you can see, my green screen footage is inside the um, stompy yard, and I'm behind the um, I'm behind the you know stompy yard scene, and it makes it look like. I'm so um, yeah, as you can see, this has been a uh, tutorial. LDA Productions, remember, um, comment if you need any other help. Let me know, and I can try my best to help you with Pinnacle Ultimate 11. If this tutorial wasn't clear enough for you, um, you can contact me, and maybe I can help you out with that. So, um, thanks for watching.